So, speaking of one, because that's all that will take home the Heisman Trophy. Let's slide to the Heisman Trophy here, fellas. It's there's not really like a, a you know, there really is no take home name so far. It the field is really even. Let's go into this Heisman discussion here. Any general that leads the Roman army, any on ground commander, quarterback is automatically going to be front and center of the discussion given recent history. Therefore, Bryce Young is in. Played great today, 21 out of 26, three touchdowns. He's keeping this, the machine on track. Uh, Matt Corral, hack, we talked about him before. Playing great yep. ball, obviously. Look who he ran up against today. And Desmond Bryce Petty Ritter went on mm. the road, got it done against Notre Dame. Are those the three premier names? We'll get into the rest who are going to start making up ground. Is that the three premier names? Bryce Petty will start. Let's let's start with you, Bryce. Yeah, I don't I don't know about about Corral, right? I mean, you said it at the beginning of the show. I mean, he's, look, he's a tremendous talent, um, and and has uh, you know probably the the front row seat in every class down there in uh, at Ole Miss. But I I don't think I've got another guy, and maybe just because I'm I'm doing the Homer Simpson here with what I watched, but Bijan Robinson to me mm-hmm. is a guy that is, is one of those three. I completely agree with Bryce young. Um, and I completely agree with Desmond Ritter. I think Bijan Robertson or Robinson deserves to be in that spot right now with other guys chasing him. Interesting. Trevor Knight, your take on the Heisman is Bryce, right? Is the back from, from Texas, does he what does he push on into that top three right now? I, I would put him at three right now. I absolutely would. The way that he's carrying that program, uh, it's impressive to watch. And he has put them on his back um, and marched them down the field time and time again. Right, quarterback change. Any, absolutely, absolutely. He's the mainstay for that offense right now, which is not typical of of a back, right? Um, Number one and two here, I, I think you have to keep them, right? Uh, today, the, the, the storyline was going to be one of those guys takes a front row seat to, to the Heisman talk. The other one is the losing quarterback, and so he's, it's not going to age well at the end of, of college football Saturday, right? Whoever lost that game, you can't throw them out immediately. Um, but yeah. Matt Corral didn't come in and, and perform like we had hoped he would have. Bryce Young, he's got, you know, we've talked about he's got so much stuff around him that is he the best player in college football? Maybe, maybe not, but he's certainly leading the best team. Um, again, I think a little too early, but as of right now, I would absolutely put Bijan Robinson in there as, hey, if he's not on this football team, they're going to have a hard time winning football games and maybe mm. the best player right now in college football. Yeah, that Re- made a, a, a big point. Bijan. He's still in that Heisman race, but he probably is the most valuable player to his squad. Christian Hackenberg, Sean Clifford. I mean, damn, a top three, a general of a top three team. Yeah. Business, 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 business. It ain't yeah. sexy. He, he's showing no leg, no leg. All he's got, he's, it, it, yeah. top three. How come and no one's mentioned Sean Clifford even in just fly, just fly over New York. He don't even get a chance to fly past New York right now. <laughs> What's the Man. deal? Yeah, well, I mean, he's got a 400 yard game under his belt. He's got he's got a couple. He's got a couple flash flares there. Um, but he it's to me, this whole Heisman thing and all this talk so early. You said it earlier, George, uh, like this, this. This award is won like end of October through November. Like that's when you really see people separate themselves within this race. I think to talk about Bryce Young and you say that whoever's driving that tank, they're driving an M1 Abrams. You just got to be able to keep it between the lines and it's going to go, right? Mm -hmm. But he's doing it better than anybody else has up to this point. When you sit there and you look at his stats and you look at where he's at, 
he's doing it better than what anyone else has. Right. So, and he's doing it as a freshman, which is very impressive. So, um, then you move down the line with Corral. I think the guy's got a ton of talent. I think he's going to be able to put up video game numbers throughout the rest of the year. And I think ultimately if he has a couple, you know, flash and flare games against some big time prime time moments, which he will have, he plays in the SEC. He could be a guy that, that is in the conversation and shows up. I think Bajan is obviously a great talking point. I think when you start talking about guys outside of it, Clifford comes to mind. I think Kenneth Walker from Michigan State comes to mind. The running back up there, he's done a fantastic job mm-hmm. of getting them going. They're undefeated. They're ripping and roaring a team that no one had on the radar no. heading into this no. year. So I just think it's really early. When you start talking Heisman stuff, it's always hard, and everyone's looking for those Heisman-type moments. And we talked about how Corral had that opportunity now. I think he's going to have another chance at it. And at the end of the day, you know, it was what it was. But um, it's going to be really interesting, and I think I'm going to ride on your point, George, that I think it's going to be one – somewhere between mid-October to November from somebody. Somebody's going to separate. That's just how it works. It works It works that way every year. Inevitably. Bryce Petty, given that it is going to be a, a late developing deal, if we talk right now, and I'm going to give you three names, and Bryce, we're going to go with you. Sean Clifford, blue-collar effort, veteran quarterback, has built and built and built, and his team is top three right now. That's one. Tanner McKee, giant slayer, Mm. took out USC when they were picking up steam, took him out. Honestly, got that. The head man fired. fired. Got him fired. Fired. Turned (laughs) around. Now you got to face the Ducks. Only two weeks off of coming back from Columbus, knocking out Ohio State, and he knocks them out. He beats UCLA coming down the pipe if he does. You got Tanner McKee and then Matt Corral at the Hacks Point. He still got murderer's row to go through in the SEC. Yeah, he went up against the Roman army, and they did what they do to generals from other armies. Corral, McKee, Sean Clifford, who will we be talking about in November? Mm, yeah, I mean, I, th- I think out of, out of just what we talked about before, I think Sean Clifford has the best chance to be talked about, right? I mean, if you go and beat Iowa at Iowa, tough place to play if you go and beat especially handily right I mean and again driving the tank is is one thing um you always typically have somebody steering it's it's the it's the way that you it's the way that you lead the troops right and I I think Sean's done a great job of doing that um in a way that doesn't put his team in in any kind of detriment you know to this point so I think that you know having that capability be able to to roll with that um, I think I think it puts him in the in the best chance uh, to to be talked about. Matt Corral is a guy probably going to live or die on the heat of what you know Jeff Levy and Lane, and Lane Kiffin do. Um, you know Jeff Levy came from the system that I was in at, at with, with Bryles, and if you if you don't establish the run early, you really can't. You know those video game numbers don't really come about. It's it's tough, um, and and so it's it's going to be live or die by the system in in and of itself. Where I think is Sean Clifford can kind of lead that um, by himself. Um, and, and again, Tanner McKee, I think it's just going to be tough because man, the West coast is so hard, right? I mean, it's, it's so hard to, to have a prime time game. Um, one where everybody can watch, but two, um, just in the comments that you're talking about now that you have, you know, you have Slade Oregon, you have Slade USC. The only other one that you really can slay in that conference is UCLA. And you know, they had a quick stunt. Yeah. Had a quick uh, cutting stunt. the lights out on you, Bryce. They cut yeah, the no, lights out I on know. you. Yeah, we got we got some we got some technical difficulties, but we're 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 running through adversity right now. So, yeah. uh, but anyways, all that all that being said, that's my dissertation, man. I think I think that Sean Clifford has the best chance to to get there in November. 